All right, guys, let's see what we have here today. The suspect has got zero kills, one death, and 10 damage around. Definitely hacker stats. I am totally kidding. That is um, not very impressive at all. I mean, it's pretty terrible at this point. Either way, he's going to be working up his way towards Cat. And so far, his aim is not even on people yet. So, um, not too impressed. He's going to make his way up here with a scout. There is a guy in sight. He takes a shot. Doesn't connect with anyone. The guy is behind the box, though, as you can see. So, he's going to make his way back over here towards the lower. Now, while he's moving around, I wanted to bring something up. A lot of you guys have been asking for me to do more overwatches where I don't have cheaters involved. And usually I don't do them just because I find a lot of them to be boring. Unless they have someone that seems almost like they're hacking. Or if they are blatantly hacking, I usually don't choose to use those videos. But if you want... That looked like a, a toggle. <laughs> um, was that a trigger bot? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Is this a trigger bot? Because he just aimed at that guy's chest and flicked up through his head. Anyways, we'll keep watching him. But I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Basically, if I don't think that they look at least suspicious, chances are I won't post a video of them. But if you guys want me to, let me know, and I'll start posting all of my uh, Overwatches, even the ones that aren't particularly interesting in my opinion, but to each their own. Maybe some of the ones that I have been skipping over have been cheating, and they just, to me, look like they weren't cheating. Either way, uh, the suspect's going to be making his way over here towards the long. He's looking at the ground. So I can now he's looking up a little bit. He's going to come out. He scoped right before he saw that guy. I don't know if he was scoping for the angle or not, but it definitely looked like it was too far over to the right to be for the angle. Either way, he was easily able to take him out. There's four guys left alive. Wow. <laughs> wow, flip shot. I think this guy is using a trigger bot. I mean, let's be honest. Wow, he just shot that guy in the chest. At least it's not all headshots right now. It looks like it's all body shots. One more guy there. Does he know he's there? He doesn't seem to know he's there, and he's taken out. Alright, so now he's going to watch the cross. He's able to hit that guy through the door. And he actually hits another one through the mid-smoke area. I don't know if that was just a spam shot, but it looked like he actually flicked down really, really quick to hit that guy. There's a guy watching long from that angle over there, you can see him. And uh, does the suspect see him is kind of the question. I think he's going to push forward through here. His teammate seems to be making an effort. And he's able to flash him for a moment, but the guy actually turns away. He's right next to that dumpster. But I don't think that the suspect's going to try to go for it. He's going to make his way back over here towards the middle. It looked like he just aimed on that guy through the wall and scoped on him. He's making his way over here towards A. There's a guy on A ramp. And there's a guy uh, elevator. He's able to take out the guy on A ramp. Both of those shots turn out to be like flick shots. The reason I think that a lot of, uh, like you guys have seen a couple of the ones where I'm talking about like aimbots. Whenever you see someone who's not like aiming at the person and always flicking to the person, like I think it was two games ago, like you could see with his AK that he would shoot at the guy's head but then he would like aim down towards the guy's chest and have to flick back up to the guy's head and he would have to continue to repeat that. It either looks like it's a recoil script or a trigger bot, something like what this guy's using. Now, this guy definitely seems to be using a trigger bot at this point. A lot of his flicks are very, very quick and he's hitting them very consistently. But the way that it moves, this crosshair, seems very unnatural. As you can see right there, how it just kind of locked right onto that guy's brain and splattered his blood all over the wall. Yeah, now he's just kind of sitting here AFK for a moment. There is a guy behind that box. And he's not actually going to go and fight him. He's actually going to hop down here towards lower. His team seems to be taking A. One guy did go out middle. Seems to be working his way over towards B. The window, the guy is picking window. Suspect was ready for it. He's able to connect on his foot. He's going to try going for the next shot. The guy jumps across. Now he's watching door. He knows that the guy's not at window right now. 
Seems like he's gonna nade window. And the guy comes out door. Oh, he wasn't able to shoot. And he does shoot there, and the trigger bot seems to hit the guy. Now, do you guys think he's trigger botting? Because, you know, as I say in a lot of videos, sometimes it looks like it's natural aim. Sometimes it looks like this. And when it looks like this, it's just unnatural. It's too quick, and it corrects itself while in the process of moving, which is really odd, especially for it to be consistent. Someone pulls a shot like that or two off in a game, that's one thing. But to have every shot feel like it's just locked onto the person feels like a trigger button. So he's able to kill that guy, or not kill him, but hit that guy through the smoke in mid. Makes his way over here towards... He just shot at that guy through the wall. <laughs> Alright. You know, he's starting to think, you know what? Fuck hiding it at all. Not that he was doing a good job anyways, but... it's a guy at that corner. He throws a nade out. He's gonna throw a smoke. Come out. and see anyone. The guy is by CT spawn watching. He's probably gonna flash a... Throw a flash and peek, but uh, we can't see him peek because the suspect turns away. Suspect's gonna check again. One guy is pushed up middle. That one guy is sitting, actually pushing up long now. Comes out, shoots him. He's able to connect again. And now he's gonna make his way towards the site. Now there is a guy in sight. Seems to know he's there. He can see a little bit of his head. I'm gonna peek CT spawn. I'm not sure if he hit that. It didn't look like he did. He missed that shot, but like I, I think he has it aimed for like the chest level, which is why I think he missed it. There again, through the smoke, he hits both of those guys. Definitely some sort of wall hack. There's no way he's consistently hitting those guys through the smokes like that. Uh, he's got a flash here. There was a flash off the top wall. Peeks out, there's a guy at corner. Rattle's able to take him down. Still got some utility with the smoke. He's going to throw a weird-ass smoke that lands by car <laughs> for no reason, I guess. Uh, and then he's going to peek towards CD spawn, and let's see who he's going to flick to. He didn't shoot at any of them, did he? Just kind of shot in between them. He's able to hit the guy through the door. He doesn't hit the second one through the door that time. He's making his way over here towards Long. There is one guy at Long. He throws this. He instantly connects with that guy that peeked out. That was quick. Gonna hop his way over here towards middle. There is a guy right side of door. I was kind of thinking that he might try to shoot him through the door for a second, but no, he's not that interesting. I mean, at this point, it's obvious he's cheating. Why doesn't he just go straight out and just start shooting people through walls and stuff? Just have a good time with it. There is a guy in mid, T-side, and he's just kind of sitting there waiting for rotation. Actually, he's up on cat, pushing up. Suspect falls off of it. He gets shot in the back. And he gets taken out. All right. What do you guys think about this? Okay, aim assistance, insufficient or evident, vision assistance, other external assistance, and griefing. Well, I didn't see him do any griefing, so insufficient on that. Other external assistance, speed hacking, automated jumping scripts, upside down views, insufficient. Vision assistance, evident. He kept hitting them through the smoke as they were crossing middle. Uh, aim assistance, evident. He definitely has a trigger button. I hope you guys enjoyed.